Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be looking at this rather old but trusty Makita drill, uh, battery drill that I've got here. Uh, the battery drill when I bought it, oh gosh, eight, maybe ten years ago, came with these two battery packs. Use one, charge one. Now, this battery pack um, is still okay, and if I plug it into the uh, charger, you'll see that the red light comes on, indicating that it's uh, charging up. The green light will come on when it gets to 100%. However, this battery pack unfortunately gives me the dreaded flashing red and green as denoted here showing a broken battery and indeed uh, this is typically what happens to Makita batteries they just suddenly stop working um, so the obvious thing now is to go out and buy a new battery pack of course and I can do that uh, you can buy aftermarket ones which are much cheaper than the Makita ones but the Makita ones typically are quite pricey. So what I'm going to look at today is a repair. So, um, without much more rattling on, let me get into the pack. Now I have been into this pack before because I wanted to know the parts I needed to buy. So we've just got four Torx bits in the bottom. Um, I think they might be, they're actually security Torx bits, so they've got the little hole in the end. You probably can't see that here, but um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Sorry, there's a little hole in the center of the Torx bit. And very quickly we are in, top and bottom. That's just the release mechanism. And we have a printed circuit board on top here, which does all of the uh, smarts, I guess, and the balancing. And we have one, two, three, four, five lithium ion 18650 cells, obviously adding up to the nominal voltage of 18 volts as denoted on here. So yes, this is the PCB that goes a little bit awry. And so you need to, you can't reuse these PCBs as far as I'm aware. And the, um, so I have unsoldered this previously, as I said, I've been inside this pack. So what I did was I went to your favorite um, Chinese website, Fleabay or wherever, and got myself a replacement PCB, which I'm hoping is a direct drop-in replacement. It certainly looks the same. The only difference that I'm sort of noting is the temperature sensor here is not as evident. <laughs> well, it seems to be missing on this one. So. Obviously, uh, in terms of charging lithium ions, you want to make sure that you don't over temperature them as you're doing that. I'll try and find a spot to put this inside this battery pack without modifying it too much. Now, in terms of the cells, as I say, there's five cells in here. And I looked up on the, uh, the part number on the side here and I discovered these were actually Sony cells. So I decided to replace like with like and I've got myself um, six cells here. Indeed these cells, uh, as I said, this, this whole battery pack and drill uh, setup is a number of years old. So these cells that I've got here actually are a better cell than is currently in this battery pack. They have a, a, a higher uh, milliamp rating, which I'll put on the screen. I'll put the links down below, of course. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these batteries from this pack, replace them with five of these brand new ones, solder everything back up again and see if it works. So 
I've got everything separated out from the battery pack now and yeah this board is uh, cactus of course um, I've done a number of searches online to try and find out if there is a way of resetting the chip in here but um, I haven't turned up anything if anybody does know it'd be uh, very interesting to uh, to find out I understand the chip keeps a history of the charging sessions and what have you um, whereas the the, the purchased uh, item uh, off uh, flea bay eBay whatever uh, is a simpler board um, there is a, a small chip here I'm not too sure whether it's a micro or just a charging chip uh, but yeah it's going to be a much more dumber charger than, than than this one in terms of counting the number of charges all right so looking at the cells we've got here in this battery pack uh, you can see they're all in series of course and so I just need to recreate that with the new cells. I'm not going to try and use any of the old um, nickel strip at the end. They're all bespokely made. They are nice. I'm sure they can carry lots of current. But um, I'm just going to have to use my normal battery strip. Uh, it is proper nickel strip though, not just uh, steel coated nickel. Um, and yeah, just replicating what we've got there. And here is the uh, nickel strip that I'm going to be using. It's uh, from Sunstone Engineering. As I said, it's solid nickel, not steel with a nickel coating. Uh, nickel obviously is a better conductor of electricity than steel. Uh, if we uh, look at the width here, we've got a quarter of an inch or just over six millimeters and five thou thickness. Now five thou, that's an eighth. Um, yeah, that's, that's around about 125 microns, 0.12 millimeters thick. I might see how I go. Obviously, as I said, these um, tabs are a little bit bigger. I might possibly double up. I don't know. Let's see, let's see how it goes anyway. Okay, let's have a look if this refurbed battery actually works. 
plug it into the charger and we have a solid oh, thinking about it solid red light means that it's under 80% it's charging up that should be fine let's just check it in the drill quickly what can I say that seems to work so that's a great um, improvement slightly tighter to remove than the old one uh, and we should indeed have um, 2.6 amp hours in here not the original 1.3 hmm maybe I should get a sticker for that anyway thanks for watching and I've got some rather surprising capacity results so you tested them in this BTC 3100 Opus unit which is reasonably good I think and um, apart from these two 1115 1161 the other three 1353 1311 and 1334 they're really in quite good condition um, uh, why these two are lower than these three not too certain possibly the one that remains permanently connected to keep the little micro on board energized if uh, if you remember we, we looked at um, this here and one of these cells is permanently connected um, maybe that's one of these two here but looking at the nominal capacity when they were new um, if we go off the bottom of the battery pack um, it was raised as a 1.3 amp hour unit and looking around on the web yeah the sort of new capacity for this particular part number here seems to be around about the 1300 mark or although I've seen some data saying that there were some versions are around the more sort of 1500 marks so I'm not too certain it's quite an old cell as you know but uh, either way 1500 or 1300 um, shows that these cells actually are not that bad probably should have reused them but anyway, uh, in using the VTC5 cells, I've uh, doubled the capacity of this quite small battery pack here. And yeah, it's just very noticeable in terms of the drill usage times. Anyway, just thought I'd like to uh, let you know that. See you now. Ta-ra!